Here's a short clip from the barber shop. Do you believe in magic? I believe in magic, and I know that my special guest believes in magic. Robert Morris, welcome to the barber shop. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me here. Uh, it's great to have you here, and listen to this, folks. <laughs> you know what that is? That's me getting out of my chair. No, that is, uh, Robert came in. Robert makes great uh, balloon creatures and, and things. And he made me a barber pole for the barbershop made out of balloons. And that's going to hang in here as long as it, it can last. Eventually, the air will ooze out of it. Yeah. It'll just hang there like a, a saggy barber pole on the wall. But I'm going to leave this here. <laughs> And I put a picture of it up on the Facebook page, The Barbershop, so folks can go take a look at that. But thank you for that. That's oh, very kind welcome. of you. And uh, welcome. Tell me what's what's happening in your world here of magic in Branson. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on. I started a business called Magical Stories and More, and uh, we specialize in children's entertainment in the Ozarks. And uh, we offer magic shows, balloon twisting, uh, princess parties, uh, bubble parties, storytelling, all the works of what kids uh, like so and do. That's, that's awesome. And that's really important, you know, because a lot of communities the size of Branson are too small to have the entertainment that we have here. We have tons of entertainment, but it's these big shows where you got to pay money to come in and yep. see. And there's not a lot of performers available for kids' birthdays and things like that. That's how I started out in South Dakota in a little yeah. small town. Uh, I did every kid's birthday party that there was, I think. But then that led to a lot of other things, and like it does for you, uh, you perform elsewhere. Tell me what else you're, you've got going uh, we on. we got Magic Show going on at two two different locations. Uh, the first one's on Tuesday nights at 6 p.m. at uh, SS Dockside. It's right on the strip next to Andy Williams Theater. It used to be the old uh, Andy Williams Grill. Oh, yeah. Or Shorty Smalls. Now it's uh, SS Dockside. Okay. Um, we're there in the back patio area doing a 30-minute show. The show's free, so whatever you order, that's what's going to cost to see it. Or you don't need to. Just come on in and see the show if you just want something fun and in between for your next show. So, and What nights are you up there? Uh, that's on Tuesday nights. Tuesday nights, okay. Tuesday nights. And the second show is at, uh, on Wednesday nights. That's tonight is our show. And that's at uh, Mad Hatter's Eats and Treats. We do that one at 6 o'clock as well. And that one's all themed to Alice in Wonderland. Cool. So, and that's up at uh, that's, uh, Shepherd of the Hills. Yeah, that's Shepherd of the Hills next to Dave Hamder's Theater. Tell me about your show. What is it that uh, you do that's y unique to Robert Morris? Uh, what we do is we uh, specialize into kids. It's really towards kids and families. So we make the kids laugh and all that. Um, something that's not being done in a lot of magic shows um, where it's actually the kids are the stars. We get them up and have them uh, play a game and to find where the magic is in some of our shows or to make a rainbow or to help color a picture, magically color a picture. Like in the, the Mad Hatters tonight, we do a Paint the Roses Red. And we end up bringing out colored crowns. They get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, <laughs> where the kid can't even hold on to it anymore. And uh, magically, the roses turn red. So it's it's a pretty neat. You got it's kind of hard to explain over the radio, but you just have to come out and see it. So. It's magic, folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Who are some of your inspirations to get into magic? Uh, start off here local uh, locally was uh, Kirby Van Birch when he was in town. Right. With uh, that was back when Philip Welford was around. Uh huh. Uh, that was. Uh, locally and in, internationally, Lance Burton, um, David Copperfield, Penn and Teller, all, all, all. If there was magic on the television, I was watching, <laughs> watching it. So yeah. they all inspired me, and uh, comedy and as well. And you've so. done some traveling too. Oh yes, did traveling across the country with uh, another magician, uh, Dwayne Laughlin. Yeah. Uh, you know him. I've you, known the <laughs> Laughlins for many years, going back to uh, when I was. A young magician in South Dakota, I think I was 13 when we did a show together one yeah, time that's... in uh, at the Serbic Center in Rapid City, South Dakota. <laughs> Cha-ching! And uh, <laughs> going all the way back uh, to my youth. But uh, the Laughlin's are great. They're up in Colon, Michigan yeah, now. Yeah, they're in Colon, Michigan right now. The magic yeah. capital of the world. Oh, yeah. That's the home of Abbott's Magic Company, folks, mm -hmm. where I sent all my money to as a kid <laughs> buying magic tricks. And one day I finally drove through Colon. Uh, I was on a college tour, and I said, I'm going to find this mystical, marvelous castle place called Abbott's Magic. And I drove around, and I drove through an alley, and I said, well, this is the address. I don't see anything. I drove back through the alley, and I still didn't see. I just saw a house and a, a concrete block garage painted black. 
And then I noticed there were skeletons painted on it. I went, <laughs> wait a minute. That was it. This garage, is <laughs> this it? And that was it. The world famous yeah. Abbott's Magic Company. Mm-hmm. And I walked in the door and there was nobody in there. But there, they had magic all oh, along yeah. the walls. I think it was Cecil Voitner, I believe his name is. He was running the shop at the time and he popped up behind the counter <laughs> And he scared me and he goes, hello there. And, and, and uh, I just, I just remember being blown away because that's where uh, I got all my magic tricks from Abbott's anyway. Uh, <laughs> so we have magic here in, in Branson too. Oh yeah. To tons of magic show. story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They got the magic show downtown right there by uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. B's ice cream. Yeah. That's, that's Yak's, there. Yak's yeah. magic shop. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's magic shop. It's been there 20 years. He's celebrating 20 years this year. Well, wow, so, that's good. Congratulations. Uh, that location. And plus we got all those other magic shows going around town. Oh, we have tons, tons of, magic. of magic. I mean, <laughs> well, magic is very popular and uh, people love it. Of course, the Hamners, I was uh, uh, partners with Dave and Denise Hamner for 10 years at the uh, Hamner Barber th- Theater. Now it's called the Hamner's Unbelievable Variety Show. And then we have Rick Thomas from mm-hmm. Las Vegas, and he's performing in town. We've got Reza, uh, illusionist. And let's see, out, out at Silver Dollar City, I'm sure there's some magic out there. Yeah, maybe. there's the, mag- the magic shop. Usually the, they use okay. some stimulation. And, uh, and then Robert is here in town, and he's uh, providing a service that nobody else is providing, something for families and kids. If you're looking for a, a great birthday party for your kids, unforgettable, uh, Robert can... Probably you can actually go to people's homes, right? Yes, yeah. we can come to your house uh, or a venue or wherever you're having it at, and we'll come in. Uh, kind of, it's easy. Just book us, and we'll come in, set up. We do our events, and no hassle. There's no hassle with us. <laughs> it's it's real simple. You don't have to. You can relax and, and actually enjoy the party if it's a birthday party or family reunion. Yeah, any kind of thing you can actually enjoy it. And don't have to worry about anything going wrong. <laughs> On, yeah. the, on the entertainment and side. So, so besides the magic show itself, but you, you also create balloon animals. And yes, balloon- we have we're different locations through Branson making balloon animals. Uh, right now we're at SS Dockside on Saturday nights from 6 to 8. Uh, we do balloon animals. We go right up to the table and we make the balloon right in front of you as you're between your meal from your order until you get your meal. We make the balloons for you. Yeah, so. so it's like, what would you like to eat? I'd like a... <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, sir. I, I said I would like a ch- Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why we wait till after you put your order in to make the balloon. Oh, okay. All right. So. <laughs> but that's fun. No, I'm just teasing. I love the balloon animals. And uh, believe me, these balloons are not easy to blow up. It no. takes cheek muscles to do that, it, right? It does. But I, I don't do that. I actually use a pump. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Uh, I'm not cheating. I'm, I'm, I always say I, I work smarter, not harder. So, oh, so, that's so good. that yes. way it's, and uh, with that everything that's too. happened, happened, it's actually, it's a good thing. Yeah. So, if I made one of these or tried to make one like this, I'd be passed out before I'd get to the second balloon. I th- well, where can people reach you, Robert? Uh, they can reach us at, on our website, magicalstoriesandmore.com, or you can call us at 417 501 9052 and it'll uh, patch you right to me and get y'all set up for your events magical so. stories and more.com yep all right well thank you robert it's always good to see you and i appreciate you coming into the studio today we'll do it again sometime soon oh, yeah definitely and definitely. Uh, good luck with your show tonight is at uh, six o'clock at uh-huh. uh, mad hatter's eats and treats right on shepherd hills expressway so. at the victorian village shops there yeah, uh, right on shepherd of the hills it's the first building you come to as you yeah, drive so you in pull, pull in yeah, into the mad shop. hatter's yep. it's uh, all a whimsical theme there whimsical theme to alice in wonderland okay. the book and what time uh, again 6 p.m 6 p.m all yep. right folks get out have a, a great dinner there and see robert morris perform at Mad Hatter's. And uh, it's always great to see you, Robert. Thank you for coming in. You know, this is a barber shop, but you've got an excellent barber shop. Do you go to a barber here? Yes, I actually just just came from there. Oh, well, let's so, give them a plug. Oh, Who's yeah, your uh, Buzz and Fade, uh, right? Yeah. Buzz yeah. and Fade. Buzz okay. and Fade on 248. On 248? Yeah, right on right. 240 there by Sunshine Signs. Good. That's where I get my signs made first. So you highly business. recommend so, yeah. them. Oh, yes. Buzz definitely. and Faye. Okay. Yes. That's right. Robert gets a free haircut next time he goes in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for, for being with us in the studio. This is The Barber Shop with Jim Barber on BransonForYou.com and 98.1 FM.